G'day, my name is Greg. I'm an Australian CNC hobbyist who has a home-built CNC plasma cutter. I use Vectric 2D to produce toolpaths for that CNC plasma cutter. And uh, you might ask, why would that be? Why not use a more specialised plasma cam software? Well, I've been using Vectric for over 10 years. I used it on and still use it on a number of other CNC machines. I'm very familiar with it, so it suits me to use Vectric software on my CNC plasma machine as well. Uh, now I'm just going to demonstrate here a very typical job that I cut on my CNC plasma and I'm starting off here in Cut 2D. In Job Setup I've set up a single sided job I've made the job size 600 by 600 uh, millimeters of course and um, a thickness of one millimeter which is almost irrelevant. I've set the Z0 or origin at the material surface and the XY origin at the lower left hand corner. Okay now, now I'm bringing my um, artwork which I happen to have already loaded here this is uh, a representation of what is broadly called the tree of life. Now, if you search the internet, you'll find hundreds of different examples that are commonly grouped together and called the tree of life. This is just one example. This is one that I've cut before, and I've probably cut well, 10 or 12 different variations of the tree of life. Um, they tend to be fairly popular. Uh, amongst friends and relatives etc. Okay so here we are I've sized this to suit my piece of material or actually I've sized the material to suit what I want to cut this out at um, but I've sized it to suit and so I just um, select the whole thing um, and the first thing I usually do although I've already done it here is I check where my start points are or where my lead-ins are going to be. The way I do that is I just select a uh, profile toolpath, come straight down here and select keep current start points. What that does is it um, it shows me only the start points on each cut. And I can go around and look and make sure that my start points are in appropriate places for where lead-ins are not going to interfere with the cut. Now I've already done that here. Um, if I needed to uh, adjust one, I would uh, simply select that one, press N on the keyboard, which shows me all of my nodes, and I could possibly, if I wanted to make this one, I'd just hover over it, press P on the keyboard, and that would make that the start point. Uh, press N again to go out of um, node editing mode, and uh, that shows all of those. Okay, so now I complete the setup for my toolpath. Um, I've set a cut depth of a millimeter, almost irrelevant, but I have to set it at something. And I select a tool. Now here I am in my tool database. I've set up a whole lot of tools here for um, different materials that I commonly cut or regularly cut. Uh, in this case I'm using 1.6 millimeter steel and uh, although there is no particular plasma tool in the tool database uh, I simply uh, nominate as an end mill and I set the diameter at the width of the curve and the speed of feed rate. The rest of it is pretty much irrelevant. The two things that are passed onto the tool path are the width of the curve or the cut and the travel speed or feed speed. Uh, you'll notice these different materials that I've set up, they're pretty much the same except for the feed rate. Okay, so I'm going to select 1.6 millimeter steel. Uh, coming down the process, I'm cutting on the outside of the vectors. Now, as most software, uh, Vectric um, is smart enough to know that if I select the outside cut, it will cut on the outside of the outer vector and it will cut on the inside of all the inner cuts. 
I'm selecting climb cut which is standard for a plasma cutter move down here and I'm going to go to leads and I'm going to add leads I'm going to add a straight line lead of two millimeters um, I'm not going to do a lead out in this material but I'm going to do an overcut distance of one millimeter okay so I move down here I'll just call this toolpath um, TOL to represent tree of life and calculate that and here we have the visual representation of that toolpath if I uh, zoom in you can see that the cut is on the outside of the outer vectors on the inside of the inner vectors and it shows all the um, lead-ins and their uh, inappropriate places for that are not going to interfere with the cut okay I'll close that and I'll save out that toolpath uh, using the post processor plasma millimeters which is a post processor post processor that I have written to um, suit my application save that toolpath and uh, TOL on the desktop uh, actually it's in a folder called tree of life I've already saved this but just save it again I'll replace that okay and that's all we need to do in Cut2D moving over to my software uh, my control software for my CNC this is UC CNC uh, now this is a fairly standard layout except that I have made some modifications here to the, uh, the standard layout to suit myself suit my machine now I've already loaded in the, uh, the toolpath that I've just created you can see it loaded up here uh, and I need to come up here and set a pierce height that is suitable for the material that I'm going to cut out of uh, now I can set that at 2 millimeters is about what I want uh, pierce delay um, on this thin material is almost zero but I set 0.1 of a second um, and that's where I set my pierce height and pierce delay which will be used at the beginning of each and every cut okay so now it's uh, I've got my origin set at the lower left of my material my material uh, X and Y origin the, uh, the Z axis is currently sitting about 30 millimeters off the material um, so we will uh, go ahead and set this going So there we have another fairly simple project completed on the CNC plasma table with CAM provided by Vectric Cut 2D. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time.